Okay, so this is iRasbian, which is a macOS skin on top of Raspbian, and, uh, and it runs particularly well. Raspbian runs great on a Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I've overclocked mine, uh, so if I go down to the Files option here and go to uh, File System and Boot and Config.txt, so if we open that up with one of these, you can see that I've overclocked. I've added a few things, uh, so the top bit here, disable overscan equals one, is something that was already in there, so that gets rid of that black border around uh, various different operating systems. I've added HDMI ignore, which basically defaults to 1080, which is great if you're using it on a 4K TV, uh, because this operating system, I think, only works at 1080, so I don't know what it's gonna do on a 4K TV, but uh, I put that in just in case, and it works perfectly well on my TV. So over six, ARM frequency 2147 and 750, so it's super snappy. I've been playing around with it, and I really like the look of it. Everything works incredibly well. Uh, it just looks really nice as well. One of my favorite things about Mac OS is definitely the dock. I just like the way the dock performs and I like the way that all the handy things are there uh, and ready and waiting for you to, to click on them. Now, there's a few things that are different to Mac OS uh, because obviously you can't, you can't do everything exactly the same. The way you uh, launch your apps is a few different ways, but you can go down uh, as you normally would in Raspbian and you can hover over. You can see there's a lot of things that are pre-installed uh, for you, so especially down the games route, there's various different Linux games there, uh, there's a uh, full RetroPie in there, there's Steam, which is for Linux, not for Windows, uh, and uh, Windows 98 emulator, so that's running full Windows 98, and a new one which I haven't seen is Mac OS 9, uh, so this is an older version. So while this is booting up, so you can see down the bottom here, that dock disappeared so if it's obscured by something on screen it disappears but if you hover over it it comes back up and I really like that uh, and I like the fact that it shows you what's running so you can see the image view is still up and running and the QE QEMU is, uh, is still running and then if I call up say the files app you can see that they're all slightly highlighted and I just find this a really convenient way of doing it say I wanted to keep this uh, image viewer in the dock I can right click on it and I can do keep in dock and that will stay in the dock, so even when the app is closed. So if I close that down, I'll just show you this. Took this the other day on one of our walks. Rather nice. Haven't done anything to it apart from put my little logo on it. I was going to use it as a screensaver, so let's close that down. Uh, you can see this doesn't start up anywhere near as quick as uh, the Windows 98 virtual machine. Now I'm not. I I never use Mac OS. Actually, I did, I, I did a very long time ago uh, at a university. Uh, where my wife was working, I used to play Lemmings, but they, I didn't know how to use it, and they used to just start me off on a game, and I used to play it. So I, I don't have any fond memories from older Mac OS systems. I've had Mac OS since 2014. So that's, that's where my sort of history of it goes. And actually, it doesn't look so great, does it? It's not, it's not a particularly pretty operating system. I think Windows 98 looked a lot better, but I don't know when Mac OS 9.2 came out. Let's have a look. So it came out in December 2001, it says uh, on Wikipedia. So it's a later operating system. Yeah, it's not, for me, that's, it's not a great looking operating system. <laughs> it looks very, very basic. Uh, and I won't really have an awful lot uh, that I would wanna do in this. So you click on it to, uh, to allow the mouse pointer to work. So, and because Mac is, is not a good operating system for gaming, it won't be something that I'll use, but it's lovely to see it in there, and I will have a play around with it just to kind of see how it works. So if I press Control Alt G, Control Alt G, now my mouse is out of that virtual machine, and I can close that down. So a great addition in there, uh, but not something that I personally would use. I would be more likely to use the Windows one in this because then you can play some old Windows games. Uh, all of this looks really nice, uh, so you can see at the top. Various different things are there, and if you hover though over them, they they tell you about each each different system. What happens if I click the home, home and workspace? Oh, workspace! So that must be multiple desktops, I guess. Oh, is that a way that you clear the desktop? Let's get a few things on there. Again, you can see the dock disappears because the VLC covered it, but it only disappeared when the VLC encroached on it. So if I pull VLC up a little bit, the dock comes back on its own. Really responsive, isn't it? I, I, I like the way that works. So what happens here? So 
Uh, oh, you can see that says VLC. If I go home, image viewer, workspace one. Yeah, I don't know what that is. If I right click on it, no. I guess it's just switching between open apps maybe, uh, which, is, which is handy. Image viewer, back to VLC. So let's close those down. And uh, what else have we got done here? So th this gives you all apps. So you click on that. And I, I don't really use this bit on, on my own Mac. Uh, what I tend to do is search with the little uh, search at the top. But you can also search in this. So you can see uh, that it's in Spanish at the top there. But if you start typing, so say I put in Belena, it will come up. If I put in Chrome, it comes up with both versions. So there's the Chromium Media Edition, which gives you things like Netflix and Disney Plus and YouTube without tearing, which is excellent. But there's also the ordinary Chromium, which is what you would use to do ordinary web browsing. So if I do Hot UK Deals and click on that and then get another page out and do BBC, and click on that, go back to Hot UK Deals. You can see that it's very snappy, very responsive with my uh, two fingers on the trackpad. Uh, works really well on this. BBC News, so you can see, slide down. If I wanna launch something, I can launch that, there you go. So again, excellent performance, really, really good to see. So uh, things like settings down here, I can click on that and you can see that it comes up again with a Mac sort of style, uh, but you also you can search within those settings. So if I was to do, say display, what happens there? Yeah, display comes up and it's a picture of a Mac, which is nice to see. If I go to uh, office, you can see there's a, an overall launcher. So Libra office, I think it's this one. And then that, that then lets you pick which one you want. So you've got your Word, you've got your Excel, you've got your PowerPoint style, uh, and all of those can be used. So if we do the PowerPoint one, which I haven't used much on this, uh, oh, insert, oh, we've got a picker. So we'll go for blueprint plans, and that will change that. And then we'll do insert image. I did this with the Raspbian X yesterday, and, um, I managed to not put two images on. So let's try this. Drag that down a bit smaller. So maybe if I click somewhere else and then go insert, I've only got one image on there, so unfortunately it's gonna be the same image. So let's put that on there. Yeah, so it replaces the image, even though I, oh no, I've got two images. There you go, it was just going a bit slow. And then if I want to put some text on there, I can do. So you can see it, it works, it works fine, it works fast enough. Considering there's two quite big images on there, uh, this is perfectly usable as a system. Uh, so let's just close that one down. I won't bother saving that masterpiece. So file gives you access to all of your main folders which is a nice quick way to get to it, but also recent documents shows you things that you've recently opened up. So under games, we've got uh, various things that were in Raspbian X as well. I haven't tried this Curse Castilla, so I might try that. Uh, so DOSBox for playing old Windows games, Minecraft Pi. So RetroPi is there. Uh, it says it's running slow in the README text, but, uh, but not for the games, so it's just the menu system. But I, I had a look and I didn't think the menu ran that slow, so I was, I was quite impressed. Uh, but then I am overclocked to 2147, so that probably helps. Steam is for Linux games. There's, there's little support in here, but there's gonna be a list soon of what games are supported, so that'll be an interesting way of doing it. Uh, so Windows 98 Virtual Machine, and then the Mac Virtual Machine, and then a SNES emulator, which is nice to see. So let's try that Castilla game because I haven't seen that before and I would imagine this is a Linux game. So running it, probably running in box 86.
So once again, just great work from uh, PyLab and all the other help that he's had. Uh, this looks great. I really like the dock um, and, uh, and it's just impressive work. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.